Hi everyone, John Paul Brion is here from InMotion Hosting and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Today I'm going to show you how to create an admin account in WordPress via MySQL. There may be times when you need to create a new admin user for your WordPress website. Perhaps it's after recovering from a hack or maybe an accidental deletion of the user, the admin user. And so in this case, you wouldn't actually have access to the dashboard to create a new user. So in this case, I recommend creating a new user from MySQL. First, let's start by bringing up the article on, on how to create an admin user from MySQL. The reason why I want to do this is because it gives you the code. So if you don't if you don't know where this article is, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that. It'll bring you to this full guide, and you can copy these lines of code. Keep in mind, the parts that are in red, you can actually change these, change these inputs here, anything in red. Essentially, that's what's going to be set for the admin user. So you can change these as needed. In this case, I'm going to leave it as is, which means my username will be new admin. My password will be, will be pass123. I recommend immediately logging in and changing those. Or you can uh, put a more complicated or stronger password in, in these places. In my case, I'm using these just for the point of this article. But I do recommend using much stronger passwords than these. If you're going to use these, change them immediately once you log in. All right, once you've brought up the article and you've copied this code, let's go ahead and log into your cPanel. So in another tab, I'm going to go ahead and bring my cPanel up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and log into my cPanel. If you don't know how to log into your cPanel, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your cPanel. Once you've logged in, we're going to go to the databases section and we're going to click PHP My Admin. Go ahead and click that. All right, once you're in PHP My Admin, we are going to go to the database and select the database. In my case, I know it's this example underscore WP80. If you don't know how or you don't know your database for WordPress, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full article on finding your database name in WordPress. And so once you've done that, you'll see your database. Click that. It's going to drop down and you'll see um, all the different tables. Where we will actually want to go though is we want to go to this SQL tab here. So go ahead and click this SQL tab. It'll bring you to this section and we're gonna paste we're gonna paste this code that we took from the article into that section there. Once you've done that we're gonna click the go button down here on the right. Go ahead and click the go button You'll see it'll say one row effective, oh, sorry, affected, and then you'll see some information there. At this point, your new admin user has been created in the database. So at this point, we can actually go back to our WordPress site and go ahead and log in. If you don't know how to log into WordPress, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Click that to go to our full guide on how to log into WordPress. And essentially, at this point, I can log back in. And keep in mind, I'm just using these usernames and password, or the username, sorry, and password that's here. I'm just going to use the existing one. I'm not updating it. But you can definitely update these to different values as needed. So in my case, my username is going to be new admin. And my password is going to be pass123. And like I said, this is really not a secure password. And I do not re recommend using this and keeping this. So once you've entered that, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And as you see, I logged in successfully with that new user. And I just want to show you one more thing. If you go back to uh, your database in PHP My Admin, and I just want to show you in my example WP80, if I go to the users table, you'll see my new user there, new admin. And essentially, that's what those lines of code is doing when you when you click the go button it creates this row here which allows you to log into your admin section as an admin user thank you for joining us for another video in our wordpress in motion series feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. 
Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.